pistachis, hearty soups, ayakas, croquettes. What's this one, you ask? It's Keshiana, but deconstructed and elevated. I think we can all agree that all of these foods are part of the island's rich food culture. This is just a very, very small example of what we have to offer. There is so much more to our One Happy Island's culinary scene, and it is time we showcase that with the first ever Authentico Aruba Culinary Festival. Before we dive into Aruba Tourism Authority's fresh new concept to showcase our culinary affair, what are some of Ronella's and Sanju's favorites? For me, my favorite is Kishiyana and um, Kalbas Stoba. You know, I always said, and this is a very personal opinion and something very close and dear to my heart, I always said that Aruba could do really well with a soup festival, for instance, because I think that Aruba has the best soups, and they're hearty, they, are, they give us energy, and yet they are the best. So I would say all different types of soups. <laughs> Kalbasoba, that has to do with my parents who introduced me to that dish and my mom, yeah, I loved her, her cooking. The, the kalbasoba was on top of my, my list in terms of what I love about her cooking. It's always great to be part of the press, but especially today since local media members got the chance to taste a small preview of how Aruba's cuisine will be showcased at Authentico. I have to say, if these dishes are any indication of what's to come, we are in for something truly special. The braised short rib was absolutely delectable, but the star of the show has to be this Keshiana. At first glance, I thought it was a dessert. After digging in, I realized it was a deconstructed and elevated Geshiana, which is a local favorite. Impressed is an understatement. Then here's my tiramisu served in a cup of coffee where even the mug is edible. If this preview is any indication of what's in store on October 7th at Authentico, you can bet I'll be there every single day. Authentico will take place in downtown Orangistad, specifically on Wilhelmina Strat from October 7th through the 13th. 15 local restaurants will participate, alongside internationally renowned chefs. The festival will also feature the popular Bartender's Brawl and the Iron Chef competition. But that's not all. This isn't just another event. There's a strategy behind this concept. When we travel, I'm talking about you and I, one of the things we look forward to most has to be exploring the local cuisine. Food speaks volumes about a country or an island's culture. Take Aruba, for example. We've embraced many international favorites, such as the Venezuelan ayaca, the Dutch croquette, just to name a few, and we've actually adapted them into our own unique versions. This highlights the incredible diversity of our culture. Every country you visit, there's either a main dish that they offer or a style of a culinary offering. However, Aruba, what brings the authenticity to Aruba is the diversity. It's the diversity of our population. It's the diversity of the foods. It's, the, it's how these foods have evolved even. So we even have foods that have a diverse background but have fused into new Aruban culinary uh, offerings. So I think that is uh, the nice thing about Aruba. It not only tells you how our foods blend, it's how our people blend, and how we are also very inviting to others to come and blend with us. We also conducted research to basically determine what is, what is so different about Aruba's cuisine and as such, what do we need to highlight that, is, that provides us with a comparative advantage? Looking at our direct competitors, which, is, which are the islands in the Caribbean. And from that research, the conclusion was that the diversity of our local cuisine. So a culinary event allows us to highlight that. And I'm, I'm referring to the number of restaurants we have, which we compare, like counting the number of restaurants, counting the number of restu restaurants, focusing on different culinary um, cuisines or different cuisines worldwide. So 
we know that that is a point that we need to highlight. The beauty about this is also that by highlighting that, we also focus on our culture, on the diversity of our population, the more than over 100 nationalities living on the island, um, and the richness that that has basically led to in terms of also our culinary offering. So that remains a critical point. Over the years, ATA has conducted comprehensive studies revealing that food is the second highest expense for our visitors. This makes it crucial to showcase what Aruba has to offer locally. One of the best aspects of Authentico is its balance. While it's definitely an event that appeals to tourists, it's also designed with our local community in mind. The Iron Chef will be a very interesting uh, event because what we'll do this year is we'll have the students from the AP and APB supporting the chefs. We also want to basically motivate our youth, those studying in the culinary and art culinary arts at APE or APB, but also those who still need to make a decision about what study to pursue. And the event will also create awareness amongst our people, our students, that this is an area where they can find a wonderful career opportunity. Through this, we hope to inspire them also uh, through our local talents in the culinary scene, but also in combination with international talent, renowned chefs who will be visiting as part of the programs. Young local culinary students will gain invaluable experience by working alongside established local and international chefs, offering them tremendous exposure. The decision to host Authentico and set this multi-day affair on Wilhelmina Strat was carefully planned by the ATA team. They've been attentive to local feedback on stimulating local culture and more importantly, managing visitor movement. This culinary event is a key part of their strategic objective to manage the flow of visitors on our island. Authentico is a ticketed event and all proceeds from ticket sales will go directly toward promoting educational programs on our island. Don't miss Authentico from October 7th through 13th on Wilhelmina Strat.